On this James the Bike Guy, we're traveling into the past, a time of triple crank sets and threaded bottom brackets. What we're looking at today is the mid-level Bontrager crank set that would have been found on Trex, Le Mans, and even some Kleins from the mid, mid to early 2000s. And on the other side, we're taking a look at the Shimano Ultegra 6500 crank set which would have been a gold standard sitting just below Durace back in this time frame. Now these triple crank sets, they differ quite a bit from what you get today. Today, in most cases, you're set up with a double. Two chain rings going from a 50 to a 34 or something similar to that. You know, 53, 39 in a standard size. Yet, on a triple, you go all the way from a 52 tooth large sprocket all the way down to a very small 30 tooth. So you'd think, well, that must be a lot more range. But one of the things that's also different today is on today's cassettes, you have some that go up to this very, very large, you know, 28 to even 34 teeth now. Whereas back in the days of those triples, it was more common to see something like this, an 11 or even a 1225. Because you had that, uh, that larger chain ring up front, they didn't have to set up quite as small of a, uh, a gear and quite as large of a gear on the rear cassettes, just because the range was there up front. The downside, of course, is because you had three rings and say nine out back, so 27 total, you had quite a few gears that were overlapping. You also had a little extra weight, and the derailleurs had to be much wider to be able to make the shifting work properly. So by going to the doubles, they ended up making things a lot more efficient. But one of the things that people still love about triples of past is the fact that they have that incredible gear range with lots of small steps in between. In this case, we go all the way from a 52 to 42 down to 30. And then in the back, if you had a 1225, that would be a lot of really small jumps as you go through. The Ultegra 6500 was in this polished silver and arguably one of the best looking Ultegra group sets that they ever made. You could get it in a double, but it would have been a standard 5339 and almost only reserved for, you know, your performance riders. On the other side, this Bontrager crank set, which is really made by Truvative, was a little more basic with not quite as in-depth shift rings on the inside, but offered the same gearing range at a much lower cost than what you got with Ultegra. What's also pretty interesting is today's bottom brackets are hollow, often pressed into the frames with a shaft that goes through rather than a three-piece design. On these, you'd have a three-piece design where you had a bottom bracket that would actually thread into the frame, and then you'd have your crank arms slide onto the ends. Now, there was a few different standards. A square taper, which just had a square end that would actually have compression to it, was used on the least expensive of bikes. But as you got to nicer bikes like these, you would get different technology. Shimano used something called Octolink. So here we've got an Octolink sealed cartridge bottom bracket. You can see it's got some splines. On this case, the crank set itself would be attached right to the bottom bracket and you'd have an eight millimeter thread to tighten in. These of course, in the Shimano's being a little bit nicer design would actually have a self extracting so it would pull the crank arm off after you were done using it. Truvative and of course Bontrager here, they use something a little bit different. They used the Gigapipe. So this looks similar, although not compatible. And what it would do is you'd have your crank arm slide right on just like on the Octolink, and then you'd have an eight millimeter bolt, but it would require an extractor to be able to remove the crank arms after you remove this eight millimeter bolt. Well, now that we've taken a look at these two crank sets, let's go ahead and place them on a scale and just see 
what they weigh, and how they compare. With that, we have our triple bond tracker crank set with both arms weighing in at 727 grams. Now when you add the bottom bracket needed to make this all work, and then of course the two bolts to hold it together, it weighs in at a portly 1,024 grams. We then move on with our Shimano Ultegra 6500 crank and its other crank arm to weigh in at 785 grams. But once you add the bottom bracket, it weighs in at 1,033 grams. Well, thanks for watching this video where we go over some of the older crank sets of past. And let me know down in your comments if you think we've gone forward with new designs that surpass what the old triples used to have.